Hello, witty writers. This is Crimson, and you're watching some Alan Wake. Now, this game was released on February 16, 2012. It was developed and published by Remedy Entertainment. It is a bit of a unique uh, third-person shooter with the uh, action, horror, survival elements to it. It is unique in how it was kind of based on the written, published book style, trying to incorporate that into the game. So, let's get right into it. Nightmare? Nightmare? Nah, normal. Normal. I just want to see the, the balance it is. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. You're the name of the game as well. Don't you feel special, Mr. Wick? I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Because that's a cliche in writing. Pattern. I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. Maybe you didn't hit him hard enough? I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. You call that a crash? You just hit a guy. Look up at the light. But no, I'm fine with these controls. Thanks for giving me the option. I'd like to be able to move. Thank you. I'd left bumper to sprint. Let's examine. The radiator had broken when I hit the hitchhiker. The car wasn't going anywhere. Because it couldn't radiate. Looks like I got a lot of a uh, book here. Written by me. My name's all over it. What's what's my book called? Can I can I zoom in? Look at one of these. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. All right, all right. I was just trying to look at my own book that I had lots of copies of in my trunk. I just carry them around. The sign for people, I suppose. Book signings are a thing. Just gonna ignore my car and my books right there. Don't investigate the guy I hit any further. Bane in the car. Rain Cove Point Lighthouse. All right, well, well, I guess we're on the hiking trail. Although I could really go for an upgrade on my... I was gonna steal my car. Better not. Oh. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God. <laughs> you think you can just make up stuff? <laughs> Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? <laughs> Did I write you're about you? sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. You'll never publish another one of your shitty stories, cause I'm gonna kill you. It's not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any the artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Cheap thrills and pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Look at your work. A little unusual to be attacked by your characters, but well, I gotta go along with that pretentious shit if this, this is what's happening. Is what's happening. I guess I'll not go that way. Spooky Doom way. Uh, I mean, those those were all lines specifically meant to, to hurt a author. Oh, nice QR codes here. If anyone wants to give that a scan. 
Jeez. I mean, oh, jump. We. Yeah, I mean, you it's just a book. You don't have to read it. Damn. Should I? I guess I have to dodge you, do I? Dodging tutorial. Well done. Try it again. Dodge the attack, if you insist. That was kind of a, a lazy neandery dodge. Whoosh. Highlighted with the cinematic the moment. Hitchhiker was a character from the story i been working on. Um, okay. Go to the pages of that story and write, and then the hitchhiker was no more. Yeah? And then Alan Wake How became Batman. To die by the hands of your own I mean, it's my creation. Oh, well, I guess I should be running. Don't I have control over it? Seems like things are getting a little bit out of hand. Some sort of darkness tornado is after me. <laughs> well, I've seen Sharknado, but Darknado? Hmm. I'd watch it. If it was a movie. Apparently it's a book. So I gotta be crazy to be writing this. Can I, can I trust you this way, man? Is this bridge gonna break under me? Hurry! Trying to, but I'm just a writer. I'm not very athletic. Spend most of my time sitting in a chair, typing. And my editor gets so what did I? I'm Stuart, remember? Quickly, get inside! There's no time to lose! No, I don't. Oh, do I get a gun? It's coming! Inside now! That's it. And is it really coming? Fine, fine, jeez. Just trying to appreciate the darkness. Man, I wish I could turn into a tornado. How did he lock the door? I didn't do it. That's not how you fire a gun. It's a good way to get yourself axed. Oh, no blood. Maybe he wasn't real. I was trapped. There was no way out. Does that mean there's no way in? Hello, eyeball. I see you too. I'd rather not. What you're looking at? Tom the poet. Is that Iron? This doesn't seem to have much significance. Am I supposed to be staring at these eyes, pushing the chairs? You got a lot of TVs in here. I had to get out. Well, I was trying to get out. He told me that there was no way out, that I was trapped. Nope. But this door would open. It seems like it's an answer. Well, there goes the front of the house. Oh, now it opens. Follow the light. Doesn't that mean I'm dead? I don't want to be dead. Oh. Well, light. C could you please be more accessible and stop running away from me? You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. I am only safe in the light. Could I be something else in the light? Stay in safe haven until you're completely healed. Ha! Ah. I am I am a plant. Well, done. I am photosynthetic. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow oh. my light. Is this you, Tom the Poet? Oh, you can light stuff back together? Man, the dark destroys and the light builds. Neat. I entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. Well, you're the in my dream. Has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Do I have a revolver? I have lots of revolver ammo. Do I load the revolver ammo to the flashlight? Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. 
Ah, be burned by the light! Praise the sun! Alright, switching batteries. We did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. No, oh, a gun. Alright, well, I guess you did give me ammo. Um. Well, I'm shooting a dude. You're not real, right? Dead guy. I murdered a man. Good. Thank you, Light. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. Thanks, I guess. C could you help me more, please? No. A terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. If, if you say so, I mean, it is your dream. I, I, I am a little suspicious about, uh, you know, a light in the sky giving me a gun, but... Well, it solved the hitchhiker problem. Well, I can unmake you, apparently. Would you, would you like that? Are you having trouble getting around? You knew a guy. There you go, good job. I get shot. I have a gun and you don't. I'm better than you because I have a gun. Writing. This is it. Oh, I see you sneaking up on me. I'll shine my light in your eyes. Yeah. My bullets can stagger you. How's it feel? Oh, I feel like I'm going to run out of batteries for this flashlight. Now, do flashlights normally have intensified beam setting? I don't think I have any that can do that. Again, when's the last time I ever used a flashlight? Hmm. Hey, flare gun ammo. Who needs a... Flashlight when I have a flare gun. Weapons and throwables. Neat. Alright. Um, since you guys don't like the light so much, how would you like to be hit by a flare? Just like. I'll show you dead. Nice slow motion lighting effects of bl oh ho ho. Well, might as well be call it grenade launcher. I'll take it. I will take it. That is, that was pretty. I don't need my flares against you. And goodbye. <laughs> Have a nice swim. Uh, see you next fall. <laughs> that was. <laughs> well, you showed up, then he was gone. Oh, hey. I can keep this up. Okay, well, I was gonna appreciate my. Books. Oh, there it goes. Alan Wake, I'm there. Let's, let's not be here. Hello, lighthouse. I've got a darkness tornado. Okay, the barrels are a sign of where the bridge will collapse. Thank you, barrels. For telling me to switch sides. Oh, no barrels here. I don't have a lot of the old running stamina, do I? Come on, Alan. You, you don't have a broken leg or anything, do you? We could get you a cane. That would help. Can I shoot a flare at the tornado? You know, let, let's not find out. Just Let's just go. To the light! Wait, I thought the light left my dream to myself. Nope, oh, you, you gave me a cutscene. Can't get in the lighthouse? Do a light for you? I can think of lighter places than a lighthouse. That's symbolism. That sounds bad. He's here. Alan, wake up. <gasps> Shh, baby. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. She called me handsome. Of 
Detroit Falls for taking the ferry. Where they make seafood. And take nautical safety to extremes. Look at this camera work, setting the scene. So nice. Shifty eyed me. Hello, train, empty train. Got nothing for me? Well, at least we're small enough to get around. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. Are we not on vacation? I'll even give you a title for the shot A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Um. A sea bear? Hello, old man. Would you, would you like to pose with me for Alice? Hello there. At the plane? Good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? Honey, we married? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. Uh, I won't pretend I guess I don't no handshake then. A famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Wow, you're so kind and understanding, old man. I sure hope nothing bad happens. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. I thought we were on vacation. Bestseller? That was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you, too. Every five minutes, I'll hold him to that. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. I don't want him. I'm afraid of the car. I might hit a bum. Damn yuppies. Well, well, fine, you... The hillbilly? Tell me a yuppie. I'll insult you back. Alright, I gotta have some creative words for that. Leaving ferry time. Nope, we left the we ferry to the cutscene. We local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. At the local diner? Always hand off the I'll keys. I'll up you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. Three, two. Alan? Thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Do we always split up like this? Isn't this a horror horror author here? Oh, oh well. I've forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake up. Oh. I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. At least you're not keeping it in your bedroom. That would be really weird. Ah, the sudden coffee. stop. Just don't blame me when you fall in love. Cause it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Coffee? Coffee is a good thing. 
So as you're not killing anybody with it, or taking time? directions from I it. I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. <laughs> yeah, that's great, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. In my hat. Are you on your own, or is, is your off with you? To you. I can show you the town if you want. I get off work at six. <laughs> you hitting on me? Rose. We'll be sure to keep that in mind. The, turn around, Alan. I'm ending this video. Yeah, there we go.